thank you. Um, we call stress here in our future. I'm presenting to you for market and shed restoration, basically on behalf of myself and the power of the to work with on the project. Who's not here today? First, I'd like to start with the whole thing that runs with one of the people. I believe the one that the project is, and I'll go on the other way. So, given that the project is a big project, it's many years you'll have many parts. What we thought to talk about today is the restoration of A and B, actually we'll give you the HMI, that's actually like my other project. Um, and what that really is, is a really interesting project in the sense that, you know, first thing you talk about the community for you understand the context. I mean, it has huge and tangible value to know it. I mean, people are so connected to it, they feel that other members of the world are not there, and they have a real protective nature about it. And we talk about this idea of work, this study that I'm asking the rest of it, looking for the tangible value, and basically, it's be very active to serve there with that sense of ownership of that space. So, how do we work in that environment? Um, it can't be untouched. So, the challenge really was how to restore and make compliance and enhance its assets. How to deal with the existing infrastructure which is inadequate. How to deal with the heat load in summer. How to deal with actually weather protection. How to remove years and years of little bits of ads and ignition and things that happen to the fence. How to actually provide things like Water and hot water, how to actually create you know, habits of waste rather than what we used to do in the Phoenix Festival for the middle of the night. And so the works are really about restoration and enhancement, but by this presentation, you can't see what we've done, that's the right outcome. So it really was about a complete old overhaul wall the structure, replacing all of the deteriorated elements, retaining as much fabric as possible. And obviously, putting in a whole series of services and putting those under the ground or out of sight. So, the story, in fact, how it did feel 145 years ago, it's good, in fact. So, the first thing is the envision a fabulous. It's a fabulous active place full of activity and traders and loading and people doing things. And that's brilliant. And no part of the project is changing to get them out. But as you can see when you zoom in, there's a lot of decay, rock, and problems with the sheds. Structure is in huge disrepair and a lot of the to ad hoc nature of what you're doing. With large services that have been added and bolted and patched over the years, all of which need repair or replacement, including a lot of deterioration of the structure. So we did a lot of code line um, for a couple of years, working with traders one on one. So this actually is about 25 sections, and we had very small groups. We talked about how they like to use their store, how might we use different ways to have better services or put more on water. Could they store there? How would they store? We also had to actually document every single part of the market. We've never done this before in my life. We had to document every column that we've only given the imposed and address. What might have happened to us? We got to do full cool documents and paint brushes, which was actually in the construction box, this is an extract point. We talked about how to repair each column and how that worked. Because really the theory was do as little as we can, but also do as much as we need to. So some columns were entirely replaced. Okay. They even had little groups put on them to make sure they get to deal with that or low. So it's previously they just got packed by the soon we can and so that. So actually making sure it's well right in the region. Some were stripped and sliced, we put a little bit of column in and then reworked the column. Some joints done, some were just stripped up like that. Every single joint was also Piece by piece, taken apart and redone on site. So rather than taking the shed apart in the lane, which this didn't have, this was actually done on site. We also had to strengthen sheds and wind. So we actually added these knee braces. There was one every second form of the form, some of one every three, and you put one every goal. So these are things that people wanted to cut. The other big part was the heat load issue at the sheds. So with this project, it was all about trying to find synergy between campus. So one thing was that it's hot out in summer for different days. How to reduce the thermal heat load in the finished shed. So, one idea was to put an insulated panel roof on that, but we can't find a way to hide that. How we did that was we worked with a company out of Greenland to create a new panel system that doesn't exist for now. When you've got five hectares of roof, you get to do interesting things you can't do otherwise. Um, and so, we got the corrugated system put on both sides of the roof so that when you actually look at it, you can't tell what's happened. In detail, all the normal parapets and everything said it will look at the today. You don't know now for hundreds of years to get through the protocol. Equal of the now to do was actually create the diaphragm and strengthen all the sheds. So without putting more structure and braces through the sheds through here, 
we actually can use the roof now as a structural element. We can start some abrasion holes a little bit more. And along all kinds of things, I can easily see the drawing here, shading every second bell off, but that doesn't have any connection with the design and action. So very detailed drawing. These are some distracted by drawing, so that we put the new brace in them, create new connections. Now, if you are storing, you will have that connection to the UV four by six. But these are the type of small details that you work very a series of months. In practice, the one our part of this project is going to work in around the active line market. The market never shut down, the credit never lost a spot, they had to get moved around. That's a bit just in the for a market when they were feeling to deal with. 400 operators in their tanks around this project. But this was done on site, live in the public realm. So if you went there, you found it every week. Last couple of years, you've watched it happen very slowly. It's quite a little bit to see it happen. As we start to work through it, you can start to see what we're experiencing happening. For well, another important class, you can start to see how, once it all turns back into place, this is happening. So you can start to see the idea of how the shape looks is there, as it was previously. We look like we see it in shape. We see lighting, we see structures, the structure, possibly the new fire types, but most people don't know the feature. We also had the trench through 140 years of history. This is not what the trench is, it's just now. We did find things like wave witch um, and put in trenching through the middle to put all those services used to run, you know, big conduits and things everywhere. So why loose if really went there and put them through the center to introduce a custom built troll line system. That's where we met. Kind of all the shit things, what the bell was doing, like they didn't find a different old phone maker in the past. And we actually went with Spirit Post to design the super custom built pollard. It actually has individual meter power at the top and hot water and drain at the bottom. The, main part. the other part of the option you can want to put these services in is this opportunity then to work with the traders to design a new module system where they can then buy and adapt themselves to point themselves to this. That module system where they can tax around elements, become vermin proof. And more importantly, find a way to utilize the new power, water, and become compliant to the government health and safety environment. Which previously they weren't able to put the infrastructure in there. And so we found work with the infrastructure design and prototype models and how that could work. Do little mock ups for them, make you build one more prototypes of these. And then at the end, they're in the installment council. So we're going back to the region. to actually pulled or sitting in office and refrigerant and power and water, but it still feels the same as that of the system. We also got one of these waste modules in here is actually a waste macerator, and it makes these ones. So I'll leave you with as little as you can for what you need to do.